Over the coming weeks, what we're going to see from Joe Biden is he's going to start to fill out his White House staff, and we already have a chief of staff right now, and I think we can expect to see other key personnel roles filled in the weeks ahead. We're going to see, at some point, cabinet picks. I hope we're able to be in a position to let people know uh, at least a couple that we want before Thanksgiving. They're going to have to figure out who they want and who they think they can get confirmed because these cabinet nominees are going to have to get confirmed by the Senate. The Senate is very, very closely divided right now. In fact, at this point, we don't even know which party is, is going to control the Senate. So they're going to have to make big political decisions. The Biden team hopes to hit the ground running uh, when they take office. But again, a lot of that will depend on who they pick and how quickly they're able to to get confirmed, especially on the cabinet side. Secretary of State is somebody who's you know typically one of the most recognizable faces in an administration. And it's an especially important one for, for this administration because Biden has talked about kind of resetting the place in the world uh, of the United States. One name to keep an eye on is, is Susan Rice. She was somebody who was vetted closely by the Biden team to be his running mate. She was a finalist to be his running mate. She impressed a lot of people. She, of course, served in the Obama administration. Biden and Rice know each other very well. The question is whether or not the Biden team uh, decides to nominate her. One factor could be Republican resistance. She's somebody who is a pretty polarizing figure going back to the Benghazi attacks during the Obama years. I'm not entertaining promoting anybody that I think was involved with the Benghazi debacle. I'm not going to promote somebody who I think has misled the country or is either incompetent. That's my view of Susan Rice. Another name to keep an eye on for Secretary of State is Tony Blinken. He is somebody who worked with Biden very closely on policy, uh, pretty respected in the universe of Democrats. He's gonna have to choose a treasury secretary. Right now, the name that uh, a lot of Biden allies are pointing to is Lael Brainerd, uh, a, a uh, Federal Reserve governor, um, somebody who in the sort of centrist mainstream wing of the Democratic Party is very respected. Uh, but uh, on the left, uh, the liberal wing of the Democratic Party, you're seeing some resistance to her potential nomination. But there's gonna be a lot, and there already is a lot of jockeying, a lot of political jockeying from all sides on this. And so the Treasury Secretary position is one that's already generated a little bit uh, of that friction. We might see some of the people who ran against Biden for the Democratic nomination in 2020 uh, resurface. The biggest one to keep an eye on is Pete Buttigieg, who uh, of course ran against Biden in his primary, ended his campaign, endorsed Biden at a very, very crucial time in that Democratic primary. Uh, it was an endorsement that a lot of people felt was crucial, helped to put him over the top. And then from there, he campaigned pretty aggressively for Biden. The position that he's often mentioned for potentially is ambassador to the United Nations. Buttigieg is somebody who speaks a bunch of different foreign languages. And so he's seen as somebody who would be sort of a capable ambassador on the world stage in a really, really important position. Another name that has come up is, is Elizabeth Warren. And on the left, you're seeing a lot of supporters say, hey, she would be a great treasury secretary. She's, she's somebody who uh, you know, ran a campaign that was very, very, very focused on the economy. Again, the question for Biden is a similar one to the question he would face with Susan Rice, which is, you know, does he want to nominate somebody who could be potentially polarizing and cause a partisan fight? And then one more thing to consider with Elizabeth Warren is you have a Republican governor in the state of Massachusetts, and if she leaves, what happens to her Senate seat? Does that end up getting filled by a Republican? Beyond that, there are some names that are sort of thrown around by Democrats, Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Amy Klobuchar. These are people with long experience in the Senate who might surface uh, as you know potential picks. In the campaign, Biden said, look, I want to have a government. I'm going to have a government that looks like America. So diversity, no doubt, uh, is a priority that he has put out there. But another one I think is, you know, they want people who have experience, who, who in their view are qualified for a lot of these positions.